This video will show you how to create a macro in Microsoft Word to read and validate an EDI file. But first make sure that Framework EDI is installed on your machine. Let us now launch Word 2007. Click on the Developer tab, then Macros. In the Macro Name field, enter Read EDI File, then click on the Create button, which will take us to the VB Editor and to the procedure of the macro. Before we start coding, we need to reference the Freddy component. So from the menu, select Tools, then References. In the Available Reference dialog box, let's find the EDI Dev Framework EDI. Then select it and click on OK. Now let's start coding. First, let us declare an OEDI doc object for the EDI file we will be translating. Then an O segment object for the segments that make up the EDI file. Then the warning objects to check for errors found in the EDI file after its validation. Let's declare a variable to store the count number of errors found. And finally, declare variables for the Ceph and EDI files and for the path of their location. Now that we've done that, let's instantiate the OEDI doc object. Then add a command to allow users to enter a Ceph file name. Then call the load schema method to load the Ceph file. Let's also allow users to enter an EDI file name. Then call the load EDI method to load it. Next, we create the code that will read the entire EDI file a segment at a time. So we start from the top segment by calling the first data segment property. Then we create a loop that will iterate through the EDI file, reading a segment at a time until there isn't any more. Like so. Inside this loop, let's add a command to write out the segment onto the Word document. And to make it easier for us to point to segments, should they have any errors, we'll add a line counter to each data segment. Okay, so the program iterates through these segments in this loop. The Freddy component is automatically validating them against their schema in the Ceph file and storing the error messages in its warnings object. So after this loop, we can report the errors by obtaining them from the warnings object and writing them out onto the Word document. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we put a page break so as to start a new page and title it Error Messages. Next, we instantiate an OWarnings object by calling the getWarnings method of the OEDI doc object. Then we check the number of errors found by calling the count property of OWarnings. And if there are any, we iterate through each of them, like so. and writing out the warning description onto the Word document. As well as the segment index. Okay, I think we are done. But before we run this macro, let's save it. as well as save the Word document as a Word macro enabled document to the same test folder where the Ceph and the test EDI files are located. Let's now run the macro. Click on Macros. Select the macro we just created, read EDI file. 
then click on run. So this is the first input prompt asking us for the save file. Let's click on OK to use the default. And on the second prompt, we'll use the default EDI file as well. OK, it seems the program runs successfully. Scanning through this document, it seems the EDI file was read correctly. And only one error was found. So let's take a closer look and scroll back to the top. Here are the segments of the EDI file. Well, these are the line counters for each segment. And if we scroll to the end of this document, we see the one error message. The error is basically saying that the code value G in the segment at line 15 is invalid. So if we scroll up to line 15, we see that the offending segment is this PID segment, which has a value G in its first data element. The PID segment before it with an F in its first data element seems to be fine. Let's double check this error by viewing the Ceph file with the Ceph manager. Here's the PID segment. Let's drill down to the code list. We see here that the letters F, S, and X are the only allowable values in this data element. So this is definitely an error in the EDI file. So there you have it, an application that reads and validates an EDI file created in less than five minutes.